those of unspecified gender, may I present Jim Robbie and the Wanderers. We're close to the village now. Is there anything else you wanted to know? You said this place is normal, right? I have a hard time believing that. As normal as anything is, I guess. We have this... I guess you can call it a monster. It shows up when someone's about to die, but... Other than that, we're totally normal. Well, isn't that terrific? That won't be a problem, will it? Last time I saw y'all, you were up to your elbows and dancing tree sap. I actually thought you might like the story. But if you don't want to bother with it, it shouldn't show up while you're here, and if it does, I can take you right back down the mountain. It's not going to be a problem. Jim probably just wants something a little quiet. Well, this is definitely quiet. I'll believe it when I see it. What kind of monster is it, though? And why is it so quiet? What did I say about this being normal? What's going on? Where is everyone? Let me go check. Is it the monster thing? I don't know. It's possible. What did I say? Just stay out here. I'll go see what's going on. If someone did see the creature, I'll take you back down. Bobby looked kind of upset. What do you think that means? Gee, maybe he thinks that they saw death itself. I'm sure everything's fine. What's taking so long? So time does pass quicker for smaller minds. Hey, at least I have a mind. Smaller minds. Here he comes. That wasn't too long at all. Is everything all right? Not as all right as I was hoping. Listen, I'm really sorry, but it looks like I'm taking you back down. What's going on? Can't we help? We're pretty good at figuring things out. At least she thinks we are. Others tend to disagree. <laughs> That's sweet of you, but there's nothing you can do. Look, I wasn't lying when I said that we're mostly normal. We are completely normal, most of the time. Now's one of those times we aren't, though. Everyone's lying low right now. I thought you picked a nice, calm place, Tango. Can't we at least stay the night? If we know what the monster does, maybe we can find someone to make it go away. I could ask. Thank you. You do realize it isn't your job to butt into people's lives, right? Some people want their private business to stay private. Then he'll tell us they want us to leave. There's no reason to be mean, Jim. I'm not. I'm saying you shouldn't force your help on everyone you meet. Not everyone wants it and not everyone needs it. If they don't want help, all they have to do is say so. I hope they don't make us leave. How long did it take us to get out here anyways? Even with the cart. Two days. This is why I like cities better. Everything's right there, and you don't have to travel days to get places. If we can't stay here, maybe we can go see Nicoletta? We were just there. I don't think we'll have anything new to tell her either. No, I meant to visit. They're willing to talk to you. That's them. It's gotta be. Worst timing. Weren't there new people last time? Thank you again for letting us in. I hope there's something we can do to help. We hope so as well. You'll have to forgive us if we're a bit skeptical, though. This isn't really anything new. We understand. It ain't like we're promising we can make the monster go away, but we should be able to find something out about it, and that helps, right? We aren't too terribly optimistic, but we're willing to try anything. That sounds really bad. <laughs> From our experience, it is. Then why don't you get to telling us what's going on? He doesn't mean that. It doesn't happen often, but before people die, we see this creature. We saw him before one of the houses burned down, for example. Every time there's some kind of unexpected death, near everyone in town sees him. Like he's warning you? Something like that. That's what people think of it, at least. But what happened last night? That's what's got everybody worried. I only heard about it happening once. When I was little, we found the creature dead in the woods. And the last time that happened, several of the teenagers went into the woods and didn't come back. Maybe they wanted to be somewhere else and just decided to leave. It is really slow out here. Charlie, you shouldn't... It's all right. <sighs> she isn't the first person to say that. They thought the kids were bored and up and left too. But they found the bodies of five of them. They were further out than they'd go to hunt, and up the mountain, not down it. No one ever figured out what happened. Why they went into the woods, how they died, nothing. So when this happened, losing anyone, especially children, is a tragedy. But this village is so small, and with what the rumors say, some people believe... The story's fake, though. Weston, no one asked for your opinion. This isn't just my opinion, though. None of us believe this story's true. Sure, the monster, we've all seen it. But the fact that the thing died and a bunch of people went missing doesn't need people. No one said that, West. Sure, maybe not officially. 
But everyone thinks that. It eats people? No. No, it doesn't. Then why do people think it does? They don't. It's just a rumor. They think that's what happens to the people who disappeared last time it died. They figure the thing has family, and when the main one can't bring them sheep or whatever, they get people. Maybe we shouldn't be arguing about this right now. Let's get lunch started and relax a little before we start worrying about the creature later. I think that sounds like a wonderful plan. Yeah, what about so you, Weston? Sure, we can eat. Do they really expect us to just sit around all day? They're just being nice, Jinrabi. We just need to show them that we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing? There's something, but it definitely isn't that. What do you mean? Didn't you hear them when we came in? They think some new people came before the kids went missing last time. They're worried you'll hurt them. They're just keeping an eye on you. That's not true. They said they wanted us inside, safe, away from they the They didn't monster. say they wanted you inside. They said they didn't want you outside. Stop being so blind and see what's right in front of you. Stop being so blind. I'm not blind. Why can't they just be nice people? Stop being so blind. Cry out, Tin Tan. Just finish your food. It's great. I'm not a tin can. Right. Maybe aluminum. <laughs> That'd be more of an insult if I thought you knew the difference. One of these days, I'm gonna take you apart. Again? If I no, thought no, you no, knew no. how? Of course I do. I was head engineer. I don't know why Then why are we always walking so much? Wouldn't a car be so much easier? Just because I was head engineer doesn't mean that I can fix everything. Some things are just too broken. Wait, I can't... Charlie, can you look at this? What is it? I don't know. The guy from earlier gave it to me. What's it say? It says that he wants to meet us outside after dark, when everyone's asleep. How come? It doesn't say. It just says he wants to show us something. <laughs> what do you think he wants to show us? Well, let's think about this. What was he talking about earlier? What, the creature? Everyone was talking about the creature earlier. I mean, him in particular. The creature not eating people. Very good! So it's pretty safe to say that whatever he wants to show us is about the monster not eating people. You think he has proof that this thing doesn't eat people? No! I think he's separating you from everyone else because he secretly believes you're here to kill everyone, and he wants to kill you first. How did you manage on your own? Better than when she had rattling metal talking her ear off all the time, I'm sure. How did you manage on your own? I did perfectly fine. I wasn't talking to you. Yes, you were. Contrary to what you think, Charlie, the world does not revolve around you. So, how are we going to get out of here tonight? Well, can't we just walk through the door? Wait, you're actually thinking about doing this? Both of you? Why not? How about the fact that we're talking about a monster that eats people? Weston doesn't think it does. I imagine Weston thinks a lot of things... That doesn't mean he's always right. Well, he's got to have a reason, right? And that's part of the story. We can't just leave without it. I'm sure it's nothing dangerous. You've known him for, what, two hours? You have no clue what he could do. You two are going to get yourselves killed. Then we won't take you. Someone needs to tell everyone how you died. I don't think you'll do much good. What's that supposed to mean? Stop it! What are we doing tonight? Jumabi? Are you coming? If you two insist on ignoring me and going anyway, yes. There. You can stop arguing now. But what do we do until then? What I told you to do earlier. Finish your food. I told you the front door would be fine. You're lucky you didn't wake anyone up. If anyone was going to be waking anyone up, it would have been you with all that clanking. If I was clanking, whose fault is that? You didn't have to come. I beg to differ. Someone needed to make sure you didn't get yourselves killed. Then stop complaining. Good. You came. I'm Weston, and this is my sister, Rachel. Nice to meet you. I'm Tango, and that's Charlie, Hi. and this is Jimrati. Hmm. I know. We all love the stories Bobby told about the dancing trees. And we were really excited when the underchildren said he was bringing y'all. Until all of this. They're so afraid of something jumping out in the dark. It's ridiculous. They just don't want anyone to get hurt. Can you blame them? 
And scared people don't always listen the best. Give them time. They'll just sit there until something bad happens. That's why we wanted to talk to you. We thought you'd listen. Of course. A few months ago, Rachel and some of her friends were on a hunting trip, and they found the creature's cave. When they told Grams about it, she told him not to go back there and forget about it. But it wasn't... West, you weren't there. Then tell them, Rachel. It wasn't that it was scary or anything. If it wasn't in a cave, it would have been a lot like our houses. But more than that. It looked like one person lived there, though. He thinks that Grams will listen to you because you aren't one of her grandchildren. She's being so close-minded. Maybe she needs outsiders to tell her she's being paranoid. And that's why I agreed to show y'all where the cave is. That is, if you don't mind going. Well, it sounds interesting. We'd love to. See, Tango, your idea of what is interesting needs a little calibration. You can stay behind if you want. You'd leave the brains behind. <laughs> what brains? My radio may rattle, but even with the family of spiders there, I'm smarter than you. We should really start moving if we're going to get to the cave. We are going to need to get back before everyone wakes up. Can you all just stop arguing? Jim Robbie, are you going to come with us, or do you want to stay here? Coming! All right, then you two stop arguing. Thanks so much for letting us see the cave. Which way is it? Thanks for believing us. It's this way. Just warning you, it's a bit of a hike. We do plenty of walking. It shouldn't be too hard. Let's get going. It's over here. <sighs> Finally. She did say it wasn't close. She didn't say it was more like a climb, though. We're up in the mountains. We have to climb to get anywhere. How did you even end up all the way out here? We can't just hunt close to town. Uh, what's this creature look like anyway? Mostly like a man, but it has wings. Like a bird person? Not those kind of wings. Like moth wings. It has huge eyes. Eyes so big they almost don't fit in its face. And its eyes glow red. Normally when we see it, that's what people notice. Its eyes. But it doesn't hurt anyone. Not itself, at least. Just shows up when someone's gonna get hurt. That night, as we were running back to town, Peter slipped and fell and broke his leg. Everyone says that's why we saw it. But the cave was set up like a house. It was his house. Wow, uh, it's dark in here. It's not too bad. It's pitch black. There's the moon. I've got my lantern. You brought your stuff, right, West? Yeah, uh, just give me a second. Huh, that's better. It looks abandoned. It shouldn't be this empty. Were you hoping it had three kids? If it was her... It's just something... something's not right. Can't you feel it? Were you hoping... Maybe you should go back before Grams finds out I brought you out here. You aren't going to get in trouble, are you? He snuck out with a teenager and three out-of-towners to go see a cave that supposedly belongs to this monster thing when they weren't supposed to leave the building. I think the time for asking if he'll get in trouble has passed. Let's just try to help. They wouldn't... They, it's they not how see they'd it see like it. That. Well, uh, let's go before you get in more trouble, then. Yeah. Let's go, Rachel. Yeah. Coming. Is that smoke? Tango, we aren't going to be able to see anything. No, by the moon. Charlie, see? There's a bunch of hunting cabins over there. We share them with a few neighboring towns. We can never keep track of who's in there. One of those probably in use. Probably just some kids using pine needles in the fire. Shouldn't we go make sure, though? Maybe they know something about the monster. I think we should just head back. As far as I know, it only warns us of things. What do you think, Rachel? Rachel? Uh, over here. You should stay with the group, Rachel. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I just feel a little sick, I guess. What did you need? Alright, just stick it out until we get back, okay? We can ask Grams to make you tea. I asked you if we should go check out the smoke Tango's seeing. No, there's no point. Everyone around here knows how to handle themselves. If some kids want to throw pine needles in the fire, it's their problem. I just want to go home. If you're sure, let's go. Right. Let's get going before everyone wakes up. Wait, do you hear that? No. What are you hearing? It sounds like... Is there a road near here? A road? There's one, but it's not exactly close. Why? It almost sounds like a car. Like, Nicoletta's car? Nicoletta? Who's... I think we need to backtrack a bit. What? Why? I, I don't know. It just feels like we shouldn't be going this way. 
Maybe something with Tango hearing a car? I don't know. Which way do you want to go? The moon's full, but it's still not bright enough to go through other paths. I don't know. Couldn't we just go back a little and see if there's another way? That's probably not the best idea, Rachel. Using unknown paths in the middle of the night doesn't sound very smart. Let's just keep going this way. Okay. How much further is it? Not much. You can kind of see the clearing if you look. Maybe you can. Mm -hmm. Wait, Mark? What are you doing? Wasn't Gramps keeping everyone inside? I... How, how did I... Where... Wait, are you okay? I think so. I... Nothing hurts, but I feel lost, I guess. How did I get here? What's wrong with him? Does he, like, sleepwalk or something? Both of you are a lot less subtle than you think you are. Is everything okay? I don't know. M Mark, are you feeling good enough to walk? We need to get back inside before Graham's notices. Like I said, nothing hurts. I just don't understand how I got out here. Okay, it'll be fine. Rachel, would you mind going ahead? I'm going to walk with Mark, and he looks a little unsteady. I said I'm fine. Rachel? Is Rachel okay? I haven't seen her in a while. Neither have I. Not since we stopped to rest for Charlie, at least. Oh, no. God, this is... Come on, we have to move. What's wrong? She knows the woods, right? She should show up. Come on! I may be wrong, but I don't know for sure until I, I can ask Grams. What's wrong? Just shut up and move. You can ask questions later. No offense, but I agree with Jim Robbie. We need to move. Now. Oh, all right. Can everyone calm down? I need at least two people to search to the west and talk to Monty's group. Another two to check and see if Lila has seen anything. Thank God, Weston. Marcus, are you hurt? Have any of you seen Rachel? What's going on, Grams? Nine of you disappeared. You, your sister, Marcus, Bethany, Grace, David, Madeline, Tango, and Charlie. It's exactly what happened last time. What about me? What about you? You can't exactly get up and walk off. What do you mean, just like last time? All of you just disappeared. Della and Anna woke up and all of you were missing. Just disappeared. I sent people out looking, but we couldn't find most of you. We found David and Bethany. They weren't very far away. But we haven't had any luck with the rest of you. How did you find Mark and these two? Grams, Rachel and I, we took Tango, Charlie, and Jim Robbie out to see something. We went up to the cave. You did what? Didn't we tell you not to? Oh... Oh, please tell me Rachel is just helping Madeline back down. Please. We need to send people further out. Weston, could you lead them to the cave? Of course. Good. Do it. Change of plans. Henry, Vivian, and Lucas, you're going with Weston to the monster's cave. Please be careful. I'm sorry we couldn't find your sister. I wish we could find something. At least everyone else is okay, right? I guess. I wish we could find her. I'm sorry. And Tango, we have to go soon. I, I know, just saying goodbye. Are you three ready to go? Yep. Come on, Tango, let's go. Bye. What are you doing, Tango? I have a schedule to keep. Can you give me a second, Bobby? I think I see something over there. Sure. What's she doing? Look, I think it's Rachel's backpack. How'd that get there? Th that means she's okay, right? Because she brought her backpack back? Pack? Nora, you're gonna want to see this. What? Hey, look at this. What is that? It kind of looks like a feather, but it's really thin. Let me see. Tango found Rachel's backpack. You're sure she had it that night? Yeah, she had the flashlight in it. Do you know what that thing is? Where was that? Right over there. Why? It kind of looks like one of those... Antennae feathers. Something like that. What's antennae? An ant with ten eyes. They're little feelers that bugs have. An ant with ten eyes? How am I supposed to know anything about bugs? Xerox. How'd you know about ants? We had carpenter ants. I'm in awe of your building maintenance skills. What's it mean that it's next to Rachel's backpack? It means 
we might have a new creature. What? I'd like to talk to y'all today about our Lord and Savior, Jim Robbie. I'd like to read y'all a passage written by Kelsey Lee, starring Ilana Kiss as Rachel, Greg Wiley as Mark and person number one, Riley Walters as Nora and Dagan Day as Weston, J.T. Smith as Bobby, Marco Horikoshi as Charlie, and... As Jim Robbie, Ilana Sharamet as Tango, the producer, the director, etc. And I, Gavin Waters, your humble pastor for this evening. Amen.